Why do you think women's boxing is more popular in other countries than it is here? It's gaining steam here, mm -hmm. little by little, but why is that? Do you um, I mean, you, you, I ju think, you just well, talked about Mexico, Mexico, right? Yeah, well, with Mexico, I mean, I was televised more in Mexico. I mean, I was on Televisión Azteca, Azteca América, Telemundo. Like, they advertise. I mean, they put us on. Yeah, they absolutely. give us the exposure. And, and I, 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 was, um, I worked with the promoter, Hector Garcia, out there. And he put me on, and he promoted me, and he was making sure that I, you know, everybody knew that I was there, and they wanted to talk to me, and, you know, I, and I got that with all the females, but we respect each other, you know what I'm saying? Like, my opponent was there, you know, like, everybody has their story and their journey, and everybody, I mean, listen, I respect anybody who walks through those ropes, whether you're a man, you're a woman, you know, you deserve the respect, and I think that's what was given in Mexico, was the respect. I think here, it just wasn't respected, you know, when people say, like, you know what, they still say fight like a girl. Like I said to you before, I say fight like an athlete. Yeah. You know, I'm an athlete. You know, yeah, I'm a female. That's obvious. But there's no, boxing's not gender specific. It's not, you know, it's not, you know, boxer. That's it. No feminine or masculine in the word boxer. Sure. So, you know, that's a, that was a big part of it. I, I didn't understand that. But see, I never, I never let those things stop me. Because like, like I said to you before, yeah, you know, I'm, you know, when I was having dinner with Roberto Duran, I'm like, yeah, this is where I belong. Having dinner next to a legend. Because I belong there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I, I can say that now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, where I am now, the gym that I'm training at now, the trainers that I'm training with now, yes. Because I belong with these people. You know what I'm sure. saying? Because I've worked to get to this place that I belong being with the best. Because I am the best. And that's a confidence that has to come with. That's why now you'll never hear me say, oh, I didn't deserve that world title. Like, heck yeah, I did. But I had to overcome some, some, some inner demons and some struggles and some emotional baggage. I had to let go of that before I got to the place that I am now. The confident woman you see sitting here wasn't this confident maybe two years ago. You know, there were some things that happened in the last two years that, that brought me to this place that I'm at now. And, um, yeah, it's owning who you are, and I'm owning who I am. It took me a while, but I'm owning it. So, <clears throat> you say you didn't really watch too much boxing. Mm -hmm. Um, when you started boxing, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. did you start oh, watching? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so so who did you enjoy watching? <laughs> Marvin Hagler. <laughs> the marvelous Marvin Hagler. Absolutely, okay. I watched him. I mean, I enjoyed watching all of them. I mean, like I said to you before, you know, it was crazy for me because Fernando Vargas was my favorite fighter. When I remember watching his fight with Felix Trinidad, and I was in my living room, and my parents were upstairs. I was downstairs in the basement, and I lined up the chairs, and I was shadow boxing, watching him fight Trinidad. Man. I was like, the mirrors were right there, and I was like, and I was like, you know, just like watch. I was just so just like, you know, and then Arturo Gatti. And, you know, I just, I watched Arturo, you know, and I just remember, like, I was like, this is like, I was just, those, them two, I think Roy Jones and Bernard Hopkins um, probably really, really got me, you know. Okay. That was, that was really what, what um, the fighters that I watched a lot of. Awesome. Who do you like watching now? Who are your top boxers right now? Vasily Lomachenko. Yeah. That's why I'm training at his gym, because I belong here. <laughs> that's why well, I work with his I belong that's here, That's why right? I work with that's his strength and coach, and, okay. and, and Adam Flores and Celio Flores. Like, that's actually why I'm here, because I'm just like, who's my pound for favorite fighter? Vasily Lomachenko. And then I started just looking up, and I saw Cecilio works with him, and they're in Oxar, and I'm like, well, can't hurt to ask if I can have a meeting and see, you know, if I can. And, you know, and that's so, um, that's what happened here. But Vasily Lomachenko, Triple G, um... I guess those are my, pa my two pound for pound. I mean, oh, you want me Who to do you enjoy watching? Yeah, let's, let's do five. Oh, no, I enjoy, it, does, I it, does, it doesn't, it doesn't have watching. to be in order either. So. Um, now, yeah. um, well, oh God, I can really think about this now. Who I really enjoy watching? Because I don't, I don't watch. It's hard for me as a fighter to watch fights and enjoy them because I'm analyzing the heck out of them and I'm like trying to learn and trying to see what I like and and what I don't like, you know. So um, I got. I mean, I enjoy watching. I guess, I guess all of them. But um, God, I don't know who else. I mean, I, I, mean okay. I, all right, I got Triple G over Canelo, but I'll say I like I enjoy watching Canelo fight. Okay. I do enjoy watching him fight. Um, you know, believe it or not, I enjoy watching Floyd fight. You know, a lot of people. I mean, I can't as a person. I don't know him. I I know I I know what he's done. You know, I'm not a fan of the domestic abuse. You sure. know, things like that. Sure. The personal, but as an athlete, phenomenal. I mean, what he does, he's so good at. You know, so I I just I have a huge amount of respect for him as an athlete. Okay. So I enjoy watching him. I'm not going to enjoy watching him beat up McGregor because that's going to be ridiculous. That's what I was going to ask you next. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't it, get that, it. that fight just got announced yesterday. Yeah. So uh, you said, you know, you as a boxer, 
So you think this is pretty much like a farce? I mean, it's I'm a, a UFC money grab. fan. Believe it or not, I'm a UFC fan. Sure, yeah. And I too. so I watch the UFC. I watch boxing, but I have no desire to see them fight. Like I just, I mean, the curiosity. I'm gonna watch the fight just because of the curiosity to be like, what's gonna happen, you know? But other than that, I don't know. I, I mean, 27 year old versus a 40 year old, and this and the whole hype and stuff like that. I mean, the bottom line is, guess what? I'm gonna watch the fight. I ain't gonna pay for it. Somebody else gonna pay for it. Cause I yeah, I'm not. <laughs> but I'll watch it. Somebody's too. gonna pay it for is, it. It is and entertainment. It's gonna make some money. It so is entertainment. That's the so, truth. Um, whether it affects boxing negatively or positively is yet we've yet to see it. I don't. Know. I mean, but will, will is this gonna start something? Are now all of a sudden you know say it's a great fight? To, I mean, are UFC fighters gonna start? I mean, I don't know. I, I've never. I don't think that should happen. Yeah, personally. I've never heard a UFC know. fighter challenge a boxer. Like I never. Muhammad Ali, I think, fought a like a Japanese wrestler back in the day. Yeah, it, but it was like okay. a like some kind of entertainment okay, thing like but that. But we're talking like UFC sure. and boxing. Like what other UFC? Fi- I mean, James Tony went in there, but he went to the cage. Mm. You know what I mean? Like what UFC fighter ever said, "Yeah, I'm going to go in there." I mean, Conor's crazy, but God bless him. <laughs> He's about to make some money, so. Yeah. More power to you. All right. So. You're the real million dollar baby. Am I? <laughs> is, that, is that the that's, rumor? No. That's yeah. the rumor. So, so you, did you, you coached or you helped train or you trained Hillary no, Swank, I, yeah. correct? I helped, I helped work with her. I was her sparring partner. I was her primary sparring partner okay. for six months um, during the filming and I'm well, before the filming. And um, we hung out together. I shared a lot of my life with her. Um, you know, it was an amazing experience. So she was asking you a lot of questions to get inspiration, you think, you know, for the role? You know, it's not even, I think, I'm just an open person, mm-hmm. you know? So I think that she felt, you'd have to ask her, really, but I think that she felt she could connect with me. We did connect in a lot of different areas. I, I cared about I care about Hillary very much, mm-hmm. and we had a very, um, a very strong bond. And um, I was so proud of her, you know? And I know she was so proud of me, because she came to my fight. She didn't want anybody to know. Um, she came to it when I fought in the finals of the Golden Glove. She was in my corner. She came into the locker room afterwards. She called me, you know, a week after the fight. I mean, we just had a real connection. But the one thing I have to say about Hillary is that she's so, she's a very loving person. And she didn't want people to get, you know, she didn't, she knew how much I wanted to box. So she didn't want the million dollar baby and everything to take away from me and take away from my boxing. She wanted me to shine on my own and have my own light. And she didn't want to dim my light with her stuff. You make your own path, right? Yeah, exactly. But she... You know, she said that to me, and she she told me, she's like, Maureen, you're going to get some criticism, you're going to get, because I lost my final Golden Glove, I lost okay. in the finals, and um, and she called me, and she said, you're going to get a lot of heat, and this and that, and I didn't realize it until I turned on my computer, and it was like Google, you know, AOL had the Google, or whatever, the AOL um, bar, sports, yeah. and it was me getting punched in the face, and then Ugh. Daily News, you know, who's the real, who's the real Golden Girl, the real million dollar, I just, or whatever, you know, because they had me, it was, it was hard, because I was, 24 years old and they built me up. I mean, I was in People Magazine. I, I got thrust into a spotlight that I had no idea was going to happen. And then all of a sudden, I lose a fight and everybody's like, oh, eh. And I was like, why are people so mean? These people don't even know me. I didn't get it because yeah. I wasn't used to that. And I didn't expect any of that and expect anything. And I, I just, I didn't understand it. But she was explained all that, it to me. Was all that a, a distraction, you think? Um, I stayed as focused as I could. I mean, I was in college, so I was literally boxing, going to school, and working. So I maintained my discipline, and I kept doing what I had to do. Um, I mean, whether it was a distraction or not, I mean, I don't, I don't think so, but I'm sure it did distract me, maybe subconsciously. You know, I had Access Hollywood in my locker room before I walked out to the ring for my finals and my Golden Gloves bout. That's a little, that may be a little distracting, yeah. but I tried as best as I could to stay focused. I mean, what was I going to do? You know what I mean? It was, it was cool. But it wasn't like I was like, oh, yeah, hi, hey. Like, I wasn't all, no. I was all like, okay, just stay where you are. Because my goal was to win. My goal was to perform. My goal was to be the best I could be at that night. And I did my best. Right on. Did you meet Clint Eastwood? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I met Clint Eastwood. How is he? Awesome. It was really cool. He walked up to me and he said, oh, he knew why he recognized me, which was just surreal. He was like, oh, you're, you know, I saw your videos. You're a very good boxer. I was like. Okay, <laughs> but he was cool. He's a very, he's a man that has a presence. And he, he took a picture with me and very, he's a very, well, back then, I mean, he's, he's in his 80s now, but he was, he's very strong, a man of stature. So, um, but very kind. 